Hey, I'm Ryan Schramm. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna to take you on a neighborhood tour, a neighborhood in San Clemente called Sea Summit. Sea Summit is actually brand new construction. The national builder that is responsible for building out all of Sea Summit is Taylor Morrison. They're a renowned home builder, and uh, if you check them out online, they actually have pretty good feedback, um, and they're building a really good product from 2010 till today. They've been doing really well on their builds. So Sea Summit, more specifically in San Clemente, is right around 313 to 320 homes in four distinct neighborhoods. So we're in the Aqua neighborhood right now. That's where we're gonna start out. That is uh, comprised of their courtyard homes. So I'm gonna drive you through one of the courtyards where you can see how courtyard basically means the garages attach and touch, the homes and the, the home walls don't attach but the garages do. So Aqua's like the entry level into Sea Summit. And uh, I love the, when I went through the models, I love the Aqua floor plans. I think it fills a very nice um, market in San Clemente of which we don't have a lot of, which is like 2,200 square feet by the beach on the inland side of the five, which is exactly what the Aquas are from five, four to five bedrooms and three bathrooms. So I'm just gonna drive you through this little aqua neighborhood. Right now where I'm parked is the Summit Club, which is the, the four communities clubhouse. There's a clubhouse pool here. Um, there's a clubhouse that residents can use and uh, they did a really nice job with it. So let's go through this aqua community now. You can see this was all, you know, recently constructed in the last five to 10 years. And this exactly, by definition, is what the courtyard stands for on these aquas. So each courtyard has five homes. And as we pull up here on the right, you can see where the two garages attach, but no interior living space attaches. So the, the setbacks are, are a little bit less than like your typical single family, but at least none of the living spaces attach. And this particular spot right here, these, these were, or maybe these, these actually might have been the models. I can't remember exactly. The reason that is, is because these all have fantastic ocean views and the models are always the best ones with the solar orientation and with the ocean views. So the only home that doesn't have an attached garage in this courtyard is the one directly ahead of us. The one that says 121 on the side. That particular model in every courtyard has no attached walls. So aside from maybe what some would say is like a slight drawback in this courtyard layout, these are fantastic floor plans. I find them to be really great for um, all demographics really. Great entertaining homes, open concept living, tons of, uh, Tons of space and rooms and bathrooms if you're if you have a family or if you just want to entertain guests. And it's quiet in here. I mean, we're inland of the five. Um, the closest beach access, and we should run some B-roll right here of North Beach. So you've got North Beach where the San Clemente Trail starts and heads south from there towards the pier and the south side beaches. And here's what's really cool when the developer acquired this land the city of san clemente had some requirements for the developer they had to set aside a ton of preserved land and they needed to make it accessible to the public so the trail network in here um, in sea summit is actually really cool people just drive here and park to walk the trail network and you can just make one quick crossing across PCH and sync up with the San Clemente Beach Trail. So it's, it's very cool from that perspective. <clears throat> so the Ocean View Aquas right now are selling from anywhere from 2.2 to 2.8 million, depending on how dialed in the backyards are and the level of finish inside the home. And then you've got some of them that don't have any view, like this whole stretch here on our left and right doesn't have any view. 
and these could be selling for as low as 1.3 to 1.4 right now. All right, so that's the Aqua of Sea Summit. Let's go to the next community, which is the Sapphires. Okay, so I just pulled up to one of the coastal access points, the, the trail network that I was talking about. And this is a spot right here where you can just basically walk to the beach. And if you look down and we zoom in over this preserve space, you'll get a really I a good idea. There's a little reservoir, like a little lake down there. Very small, I would call it a pond more than a lake. But it's kind of gray today. And there's still really nice ocean views. Like that's all ocean out there. And, and then just open space. Nothing's ever gonna be built there. So I know the camera's not picking it up, but there's all these beautiful um, pelicans and seagulls and there's a ton of bird life and wildlife and that was the whole point of why the city said this needed to be you know kept preserved land there's only 313 home sites in this huge development so it's it's a really pretty spot we just pulled in here now to the next um, neighborhood in sea summit which is the sapphire and the sapphires are a larger home than the aquas where we just were um, these were all the models on our right hand side here. And again, it's important to note that the models are always the best sites. They've got the best views, the best sun, natural light, all that good stuff. And the models sell, you know, with a premium because they have ocean views, so they're premium lots. Uh, the premium home sites in here now are selling in the upwards of, of two, um, the high twos, and into the threes now for the sapphires. Several different floor plans available. What I like about this Sea Summit community, and we're gonna share like some B-roll too as we talk about this, but right across the street is the outlets. So you do get this certain level of walkability. Um, the outlets now are pretty established. It was kind of slow to go, but now all the spaces, pretty much all the restaurant spaces and everything are taken up and there's some really good eateries in there. Here's another trailhead location call this Ocean View Park. So anyways, if you, you know, if you want a walkability and you're not necessarily looking to be in the old San Clemente, but a newer pocket, 2013 built homes, Sea Summit is a great option for you to consider. It is important to note that Sea Summit has Melaroos. Um, check out this video that I'm gonna link up here for you on Melaroos and how that works but the overall tax rate for Sea Summit is right around 1.9%. So a home without Melaroos, 1%. Sea Summit with Melaroos, at the end of the day, it's gonna be right around 1.9%. So now that we've kind of driven you through these Sapphire homes, I'm gonna take you to the next community, which is called Azor. All right, so we're just pulling up into the Azor neighborhood. This is basically four cul-de-sacs of homes. And the Azure is like the third best, if you will, or uh, just one, this is kind of one level before the granddaddies um, in Sea Summit. <clears throat> Beautiful homes. All the homes on the left have really, really nice ocean views. All homes on the right have some second story ocean views, but these homes are all selling in the mid threes now. And just driving through here, you know, it's, it's nice to kind of drive through and refresh because the homes in Sea Summit, I think it's safe to say that everybody will agree, these are very aesthetically pleasing homes. And San Clemente is, is mostly older homes. It's mostly comprised of homes built in, you know, the 70s and the 80s and some of the tracts in the 90s, but these homes bring, they fill a void that is otherwise unfilled in San Clemente except for Talega, which is newer homes by the beach. So this Azure tract, if you're looking for a larger home, not huge, but that three to 4,000 square foot home can be found here with nice views and selling for, you know, right around the high 900s to $1,000 square foot range. All right, we're gonna finish up in the Azure here now and take you to the very last tract, 
in Sea Summit, the fourth and final neighborhood. Let's go. So we just pulled into the last neighborhood in Sea Summit, which is Indigo. These are a high level of spec home. Really nicely done by the builder here too. These homes all have really, really nice ocean views. And in the Indigo is where you can find some of the properties that are up in the four and $5 million range, especially in this row. They have some fantastic ocean views from these Indigo floor plans. So what I like about the Sea Summit is there's really a floor plan for, for everyone, depending on size and square footage, if you want view or not. This home here, very, very cool premium lot, corner lot with coastal access right to the beach from here. It would take about eight to 10 minutes to walk to the beach from here, but it's still very, very relatively close. So if you have any questions on this neighborhood or if new construction, newer construction is appealing to you in an older, more established beach town like San Clemente, I would bring you to Sea Summit. There is uh, currently only two properties on the market in here, so it's important to get out ahead and, and start watching what's on the market now so the future properties that come up can be yours if that's what you're interested in. Give me a call or drop me a comment below if you have any interest in this neighborhood or if you think that I missed something. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next one.